Okay, so not having it back with another episode of Game Caviar coming at you with the latest video gaming news for the video gaming industry. Um, I'm bringing you some old school. I'm taking it back to the PlayStation, the first PlayStation. I'm bringing you some Final Fantasy VII gameplay. Um, played on PlayStation 3, of course. I downloaded it off PSN, and uh, I got some news for the PSN. I'm going to get in that in a minute. Uh, but first, uh, the PlayStation Vita's launch... Um, catalog has been released and it's pretty good you've got uncharted wipeout reality fighters little deviants mod nation racers uh hot shots golf escape plan i don't know what that is but it sounds awesome top darts hustle kings unit 13 motor storm and there is a list of other games that are being developed for the vita but those games that i just listed are the ones that will be available upon launch in february um they got some nice, uh, they, they got, you know, Call of Duty, Bioshock, Assassin's Creed, Mortal Kombat, uh, let's see, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, they, they, they're going to have a pretty stout lineup of video games, so um, be sure to check it out when it comes out. I'm going to get one, um, and I think it's going to be amazing. Moving on, Final Fantasy 13 2 will take 30 to 40 hours to complete to Square Enix, and, and that is amazing. And I like that because I feel like I'm getting my money's worth if I buy that game. I may or may not. I, I, I probably will. I really like Final Fantasy, um, as you can see. But anyway, 30 to $40 means that I'm getting my money's worth. I like games with that much depth into it. Uh, Skyrim is another game uh, that I haven't gotten yet. But I've read and I've heard that it's a very good game and it's very long. So... Uh, you get your money's worth when you buy a game that's going to take you 30 to 40 hours to complete and a game that looks good and is fun to play and i think final fantasy is going to be that way um yeah on for the news for the psn it's big ass sale going on right now on psn um games are getting slashed left and right um prices are getting slashed there's this is the time to get games off psn right now because it's huge and it's going on and it's and it's 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 pretty big um uh, as PSN Plus, as a PSN Plus member, um, I get discounts and free stuff all the time. But it's always nice to have more incentive to buy stuff off PSN. I bought. I recently got a game called Hydrophobia, which is like Uncharted. Uh, it's a platformer. You're stuck in some underground city that's been attacked by terrorists, homegrown terrorists from within the city, and you have to get to the bottom of it. And I've been playing it for the past couple uh, days, and uh, probably for past week or so off and on and it's a really good game so check it out for all my psn customers out there hydrophobia and also check out the other games that are on sale right now moving on uh, let me see uh, uh there's a group of playstation 3 players that are suing ea over battlefield uh 3's downloadable content that was promised and they didn't deliver it uh when it was announced they said that battlefield 1943 was going to be bundled for PS3 exclusively for PS3 and then it didn't happen so now there's a group of people that are pissed off and they're gonna sue EA in some sort of class action lawsuit or something and it's, it's stupid man uh, they make it seem like if if they had known that Battlefield 1943 wasn't gonna be bundled they weren't gonna buy Battlefield 3 and I'm waving my bullshit flag aggressively at that statement because they know damn well they would have still bought Battlefield 3. And if you're a little butthurt because you didn't get uh, Battlefield 1943, a downloadable content, well, fuck off, okay? That shit happens in life. Life isn't fair. You'll, you'll, I mean, you'll be fine. PlayStation 3 has exclusive downloadable content anyway, so why are you even fucking worried about it? Moving on. Uh, Kojima will develop Metal Gear Solid 5. There were uh, questions on who was going to do it. He's always said that he was going to retire and not do any more Metal Gear Solids, but he's done the past couple ones. He's going to do this one, too. It's going to be amazing. It's Metal Gear Solid, so, and it's Metal Gear Solid, and then he's going to be uh, developing it, so you already know it's going to be pretty fucking awesome. And that's all we have for PlayStation 3. Moving on to the Xbox Trace City. Uh, this is a new dashboard update coming out on December 6th. I've seen pictures of it. There were some people that were in the beta. From what I saw, it looks different, but it also keeps the same essence of the Xbox dashboard. So it's just like a, a new coat of paint 
on a car or something um but yeah it's coming out on the uh the six and you could bet good money that's gonna be a mandatory update and all that other shit uh let's see michael Pax paxter it's either paxter or paxter i don't know he's some analyst for video games he's saying that the xbox 720 won't be out for a while he's saying that it won't be out in 2012 or 2013 the reason being is that microsoft is selling way too many xboxes for them to introduce a new console at this juncture I understand what he's saying and I don't think it's going to be in 2012 but I think by the end of 2012 we will see the next gen consoles and by 2013 they're going to be prepping for release. I don't think we're going to have two more years of the same consoles although that is um, that is possible I don't think that's highly likely. Technology these days in general is moving too fast for it to sit still you see what I'm saying? so i don't know i could be wrong but um i think i also just thought about this that if when whenever sony says you know what we're not going to support the playstation 2 anymore we're just going to let it die off you can pretty much bet that they're on the verge of announcing playstation 4 and then you know playstation 3 is going to take the place of playstation 2 so keep an eye out for that uh let's see halo anniversary gets an 8.0 off ign.com uh, for all you Halo fans, yeah, you've probably already picked it up. I don't like Halo, so I'm not going to get it. 8.0 is not a bad game. It's got some sort of... This game has some sort of weird feature that when you press a button, it goes back to the old graphics from Xbox and how Halo looked when it first came out. And then you press the button again and it's updated graphics. And then online version, they use the Halo... What is it? The Halo Reach engine. So, uh, whatever. Uh, so, 8.0. Not a bad game. I'm not going to get it. Um, in other news... I read a story on Game Stirs that said that DICE originally pitched Battlefield to Nintendo and that Battlefield could have possibly been a Nintendo exclusive. This is back in the GameCube days and they said that the reason why the deal fell through is because Nintendo didn't have a competent online strategy. Really Nintendo? Really? You, you, they, I mean, they handed you a golden egg and you did nothing with it because you, you couldn't get a, a, uh, you couldn't get together and make some sort of competent online strategy. Really? Did you not think Battlefield was going to be an, a, a big, uh, a name, a big name, a big game in the gaming community? Really? Nintendo? This is what you do? Really? You're like, no, we don't want your Battlefield. We, we're going to stick with Mario. And, uh, and, and Donkey Kong and Zelda. Really? Are you serious? Wow. I mean, Nintendo... I, fuck, I don't know, man. I, I can't even save them on that one. They just really fucked up. And I think they know they fucked up. Just like they fucked up by not releasing a HD console when uh, when everybody else did. It was cheap and it was popular, but come on, man. Yeah, and, and, you know, broaden your horizon, Nintendo. You can only make so many fucking uh, Donkey Kong and Mario games, okay? Really? Battlefield 3. I mean, Battlefield in general, they're like, nah. We're, we're online. Maybe they thought that online wasn't going to be relevant in video gaming. They're like, nah, fuck that. Uh-huh. Sega fucking uh, Dreamcast had online. So why the hell wouldn't they even... Maybe they thought that because Sega Dreamcast failed and it had online, that online was like some sort of... You know that'll turn people off from video game consoles whatever we see we all see how that shit turned out and nintendo you uh, i don't know anywho that's all the news i have uh for now uh actually you know what i had one more um story that didn't fit on the bottom scroll it's uh lg is set to reveal the new phone on december 1st they're having some sort of media event according to android central it could possibly be a nitro i have no idea what the fuck that is i have a motorola atrix i don't deal with lg phones i like motorola because they're fucking awesome and especially that new droid that's probably gonna be my next phone it's pretty expensive but i'm gonna wait and see if it comes out on at t it's only on verizon right now keep my fingers crossed um I'm gaining new subscribers every day and I like it. This channel is blowing up. I'm really putting in a lot of effort to get as many eyes on the channel as possible. If you see this video, please do me a favor, like it, comment on it, and at least tell one person and subscribe to the channel. 
but at least tell one person to check out my videos that's all i ask uh this video is over this has been game caviar i've been your host not having it as always i will see you guys later on with another video uh but for right now i'm not having it and i'm out game, game. 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 game.